Hello and welcome back to Hacks, where it's my mission to try and simplify cybersecurity. Today we are back looking at hackthissite.org. It's a website that allows you to test out your web application hacking skills. We have already gone through levels 1, 2 and 3 of the basic missions, so today we're going to carry on and look at level 4. So, this time Sam hardcoded the password into the script, however the password is long and complex and Sam is often forgetful, so he wrote the script that would email his password to him automatically in case he forgot. Here's the script. So as you can see, we have our standard password submission box and a button that says send password to Sam. When we click it, I assume it sends the password to Sam, which it does look like it does. So in order to try and proceed through this challenge, we're going to need to look at the page source to find out what the script is doing. If we head over to elements and search for email, we can see the script down here. We can see the actual page that it's posting to is level4.php and the value that is being posted is sam at hackthissite.org. All we need to do is simply double click that, change that to our own mailbox and click submit. Now what you'll see is password reminder successfully sent to admin at hacks.org. Note if this email address is not yours, blah, 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 blah. So now we head over to our mailbox and we refresh. And we can see that Sam has sent us a password of 331E4813. If we copy that and head back to the website, Let's close the inspector and paste it in and hopefully that should complete the level for us. The lesson that can be learned from this challenge is not to hard code anything within publicly viewable source. When you code PHP websites and other websites a lot of the time the code is hidden it can't be viewed by the public. However Stuff like HTML and JavaScript is client-side, so it loads and renders in the browser so that anybody who views the website can actually see it. It isn't a good idea to hardcode the passwords in these forms that way, so if you are going to hardcode passwords, put them into PHP like you would do in a PHP database connection script. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and I'll see you next time for part five. Thank you. Bye.